And uh, game number two here, of course. And as Zeke said, we'd love to hear what you thought about game number one. I'll be checking Twitter on my end, hashtag Fall Skirmish, and tweet at us as well so we can see those tweets and read some of them off maybe throughout the broadcast. But here we go. Game number two. We saw hundreds of Fortnite community members rewarded with cash prizes in Summer Skirmish. We're going to see hundreds more with Fall Skirmish, and I cannot be more excited here. Kicking off game number two here on the European Fall Skirmish Week number one opener. Man, oh man, again, we're going back to this overhead view, the eye in the sky. Hopefully a lot of these people thank their battle bus uh, yeah, driver. Please be, please That's, we need to do that. It's Exactly. He works day in and day out, so definitely thank the bus driver. But I mean, look at this. We see people kind of breaking off. We saw some people landing what looked like toward Dusty Divot, and it's a lot of players are making their way over to the west half of the map. Some have even touched down Marijuana and Inclined here at Lucky Landing. It looks like there is only one other team here. Wow. So it, actually it was Severn that went down early. We saw him make it to the late game last time around. This time won't be so lucky. They're all going to drop in the multi-flat apartments. Timmy, really excited to see what he can do. Back over to Mike. We saw him last game. I mean, he racked up eliminations like crazy. And as you can see here, he's trying to make his way over to Duncan. He's got one elimination already under his belt. So I'm assuming he's taking down Duncan's teammate. Oh, missed shot. Opportunity there from Duncan. He's going to get tagged up pretty weak here. Micah going to take Ooh. out Duncan, who in my opinion there, Zeke, had the advantage in the fight. Goes to show how strong of a player Micah is in that scenario. Still able to come out on top with the support of Roby. That duo continues to perform here in the early game. They love this drop over towards Risky Reels, and I'm loving what I'm seeing out of this Vitality duo. Is what, what that Tilted Tower duo can do in that area of the map. Meanwhile, you see other areas of the map here. It can be Roby and Micah picking up some resources as early as possible here before they're, they're gearing up for a rotation over towards Tomato Temple. But keep in mind, they're in the circle in a big fight over towards Dusty Divot. Looks like it's going to be City Driver that does have high ground. He's editing low now, but a and big fight's about to ensue. He's fighting the likes of Carnifex and Ukes. Ukes, I mean, this guy is a Summer Skirmish All-Star. We saw him all Summer Skirmish long. You love to see him. He always rocks the same skin with the wings. And now he's trying to take him down. Oh, but in a 2v1 situation, Ghost Isa drops super low. He almost managed wow. to down Isa in the process. Man, oh man. And again, this is not too far away from the, the Vitality team we saw. I mean, things are heating up here. Yep, that's for sure. Moving our way over to ONF Evil. He has high ground right now. So he's gonna take a, a nice chunk of fall damage there. So. Slight misplay, but it's actually Airwalks, the Team Liquid uh, squad. And, and I think it brings out the best in a lot of players. It also adds a different ele element to the game where you have bait and switch opportunities. There's, there's a variety of teamwork that's added. So I love the addition of duos here in fall, in fall skirmish. And look at this, nothing but stink bombs for Airwalks. He's gonna oh, get damage up quite significantly. Grenades, he's already looked like he's dropped a little bit, just a quarter of his health, which isn't too bad, all things considered. But now he's in a situation, he's in a 1v2. And look at this, a really great stink bomb there. But now he's in the face of High Styled. And High Styled says, not Beautiful. today, Airwalks. I'm going to shut you down, my friend. Yeah, and I like how he played that. I think it was uh, uh, the member of Solar there that was expecting him to drop. But he actually had a nice clean edit that allowed him to get a nice surprising uh, elimination there. So well played right there. And it looks like now a big fight going down. It's going to be the Vic in a fight against Markod in this one. I mean, again, we've seen both of these players compete during Summer Skirmish Series, and now they are facing off. And look, someone else joins the fray. Someone else was trying to vulture these eliminations. It's Gabby TV. Now, look, Vic's trying to close in. He's trying to secure this to make sure he can get the points for it. There you go. Him and his teammate. There you go. So they now have an additional. He has three eliminations wow. under his belt. If his teammate has even just one, they've got a point on the board. This is crazy. And again, don't forget with the spectator client taking a look at the top right of the minimap, we give you more information. So now you can take a look at all the little triangles. Those are other teams. So not only can you say, all right, well, they've made a lot of noise, but you can actually look up the top right and say, hey, look, these are the triangles. They're closing in. They've heard it. They want somebody to make a misstep or take a shot. And then very quickly, you could start zeroing in on people. So we're taking a look at this replay, Makey TV. Now, do you think the meta has shifted a little since we've, you know, moved, we've vaulted the drum gun? And then, like you're saying, we introduced the double barrel. And there is, a, a, on top of that, different types of double barrels. We also have seen changes to the SMGs. We saw now they don't have first shot accuracy. We, we, we've seen a reduction in uh, clip size. Do you think that that's shifted the meta a little bit? Do you think we're seeing 
people, like, do you think we're seeing people come back to the shotgun, or, or you think there's kind of like still some, there's still diversity. It's like some people still opt to go close range with the shotgun, some people like to go mid range with the SMGs. What do you think? Yeah, it's out of diversity. I think you're exactly right. Whereas everyone was kind of forced to play the SMG spam meta previously, especially with the drum gun in existence. Now you get to choose. If you want to use the shotgun, it's, it's in a much better spot. Of course, the double barrel very, very strong in that conversation, but it does add variety and it does add a nice little mixture to the, to the bunch. I think, oh, look at this, nice port of fortress. That's a fortress, baby. It is. And as you saw, he immediately has to disengage because now they own this entire space. They're able to hop up with those uh, tires. And now Mick Rosa here on the back foot. Look how, look how damaged. He just has some bandages. Finally, can take out those bandages and use them. What, wise decision here. And a nice, speaking of a fortress, fortress within a fortress here. Looks like all the old Renaissance days as he's uh, <laughs> castled up here on top of the fortress and sitting upon his, his steed is in, in a pretty good position right now. Meanwhile, the, fan, the Fnatic duo, Fnatic, of course, very reputable organization over on the European side of esports with a lot of history. These, these two at Nyx and Jural have a big responsibility. They have, oh my gosh, so they have the shockwave grenades. And look, you're always trying to disengage right now. Man, but he, they punish him for that. They punish him for that. Man, here's the thing, the storm is starting to move. They need to disengage. And now, I mean, the fact that he's dropped them both pretty low means they're gonna, if they're not fast, they're gonna start taking storm damage. I mean, look at him, he's even kiting them back. The shockwave grenade sends him flying, but Jarl gets knocked with the rifle at 61 meters. Again, you love that about Fortnite. I know I keep deferring to it, but you just love to see the ability to outskill someone and lose a fight where you have a numbers disadvantage. Uh, here's something else. We just watched the grappler. So we saw him, Svenos, use it to get out of the storm, which is good. Something unbelievable is that Svenos has the thermal AR. We've seen, Svenos is, I mean, he's just pinpoint accurate. Legend. If you yeah. give him this weapon, he's going to put it to work and he's going to take down eliminations at range. I mean, I'm talking max range. Oh, wow. Jam side falls down and falls to the their elimination. I was going to say their death, but it's, I guess they didn't die just yet. Yeah. But look, Unique and Clyde, Marana just on the other side. The Vic is very close by. I mean, look. Again, this Spectre client is huge for information. You can just constantly tell where players are, yeah. which is good. And now what's interesting is no one got the knock or the down out there. He, he right. knocked himself. So no Correct. one was really truly aware that he was down. That's so why you have to be very, very attentive to the bottom left of your screen. If you see that that, that person got, got downed, you know someone's down somewhere on the map. Maybe you can hear it as well. You can take advantage and capitalize. But if, you, if you're not paying attention, you can miss an easy double elimination opportunity as the revive was being picked up right there on Cold Turkey. Yeah, and take a look. So Svenos is here with his duo partner. There's there's two, there's three duos here total. Taboo is one that's very close by. He's down. You can see him crawling there. That is uh, teammate is Blackso over there. Now Svenos again has a grappler. We're gonna have to see how he utilizes this because I mean he can very quickly traverse terrain if he needs to. Yep. I, but, uh, I love his loadout too. Double yeah. barrel into an SMG, and of course that thermal for long range. He can use that SMG for a slight mid range as well. It's kind of well balanced at a distance right now. I just want to see a grappler into a point blank double barrel. That's what I want to see. A little, bo little boogie bomb action here. Svenos is dancing and having some fun, <laughs> but it's not going to matter. He's going to pick up the elimination. Ooh. Nice job by Svenos, despite throwing in some dance moves, able to come out on top in that one. Our first, at, our first boogie bomb action here. I feel like we should <laughs> have like an alarm that goes off or something. Anytime there's a boogie Anytime bomb, there's a yeah. boogie, or maybe we have to dance. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna get creative we'll, here. We'll get creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 40 people left in the game. And as you can see, all these triangles are starting to move together. What's interesting is they're populating kind of the lower left half of Wailing Woods. So that northern right half is still pretty vacant. Um, we've got one team that's going to start moving. And you can see the top right there. I mean, yep. there's this is still pretty open. Now, how do you feel about fighting in Wailing Woods specifically? Yeah, I love the fact that it's a Wailing Woods finish. I think we're going to see a few things. One, of course, your building is, is heavily affected. Your ability to build and your ability to have vision. Two, with the addition of the grappler, much like oh. we saw in PAX West, we saw an Omega who looked like Catwoman flying around or Catman <laughs> flying around and, and hanging around in the trees. We're going to see a lot of uh, cat in the tree action in this one, as uh, so expect some people with that grappler to be able to get some, be able to get high ground. But of course, uh, Willing Woods finish makes it really, really interesting, tough to build, and uh, not as much vision as you're used to having here. So it's gonna be a really fun and interesting finish here. Yep, Svenos, man, he's got like what? It looked like 10 HP or something. I mean, he needs to be very careful as he's sitting here editing walls. If someone cracks back, I mean, he could go down. You know what's interesting though, uh, which I'm, I'm, I think it's funny they're not doing. Is so if you have below 30 HP, you can actually knock yourself if you fall from yeah, out, to like get, a, to get to yeah to, to basically get revived and have 30 hp instead of like the 10 that he has now man look at this so again oh wow we're just seeing fire from all angles i mean 
this is not what this is not the spot you want to be in. You want to be the guy that's not being fired at by like six different teams. Yep. I mean, Endel himself, look, he's only got 40 HP looking to disengage the fights. I mean, so so what do you what would you recommend to players looking to load the game, right? Let's say I'm a I'm a new guy and I want to learn how to play Fortnite and I find myself in these like say top 40 situations. What do you recommend new players do to try and like hold out, right? You get you get cracked at something like, what do I do? What do you what would you recommend they do in those situations? Yeah, really it comes down to an approach thing. I think you need to play it 150%. It's so easy in a public match to it's a public match, I'm just gonna fly at them. No, play it like a tournament scenario. Play it real right. time. Feel the pressure, feel the, the intensity and play for the win every single time. Play 150% like you're competing yourself for a ten million dollar Fortnite fall skirmish pool. If, if you play like a pro you'll end up getting getting to that point. It definitely helps you get there. Practice like a pro to, to try and be a pro. In my, in my opinion. That's why you see the likes of Ninja and a lot of these players that really say every single game I'm learning from, every single game I'm part of myself, you have to take that approach. I think it's more of an approach thing. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, man. That's, I couldn't have said it better either. I mean, that's exactly the way you want to play it. And I mean, obviously, as people are watching, if you're new to Fortnite, just watch what, how these players behave, right? They sit there and they, they reset walls so that they, they're continuing to reconstruct. You can kind of see through them, the way that they're building, how they edit. These are all things that you should take into account when you're learning to play Fortnite. It's it's a deep game, man. Yep. It's it's a rabbit so, hole. Yeah, it's deep. that's the most beautiful way to put it. I think you put it, yeah, you put it wonderfully. Deep, so many layers, so much depth to this game, so many play styles, there's so many different ways to play. Don't just look at your favorite player and say, I want to play like him. Adopt your own style of play. It's so beautiful. Just look, I think it was a double revive going on. They're both going to opt for the passive play in this one. 31 alive still, so keep in mind, two eliminations right now for the Oserve team as they are looking to get themselves a point at least. But you still have to survive at least 10 more eliminations to get top 10. You see the format on the right side. Of course, when you see 20 players left, that means there's likely, you know, uh, you can assume. They're just going to run at you, and one of us is going to be eliminated here, I, but. I, that's a great point. The, the close range of the uh, component of that, you can just use a shockwave to basically close the gap. And mm -hmm. talk about the importance of carrying mobility now, especially with this new meta and a lot of the new items that were added. It adds an element of mobility in your inventory. You have to play for mobility, and uh, you have to carry mobility, which we didn't really see as much before. So I absolutely love where we're at right now with the Fortnite game meta. Absolutely. Now we see players 21 left alive. The storm is going to start moving here. And now everyone's just scrambling. Everyone's doing the best they can to get to this new safe zone, taking shots left and right. I believe that's Mitra here just in front of Kazon. And now he's trying to get the high ground. Yep. Trying to do everything they can to get these micro advantages fall out. Yeah, and his teammate, keep in mind, does have a rocket launcher to his name. That's huge in the end game. You can disrupt so much cover, especially if it's a gold rocket launcher. And I like the loadout here as well for Chaos on Fire, or Kaz on Fire, sorry, as he does have a heavy shotgun and a compact SMG. Of course, that blue assault rifle as well to his name. Double elimination picked up for the Oserv team. They are looking great right now as well. So the wild card and Oserv squad looking, uh, duo is looking pretty solid. And, and look where the new safe zone is. Not only is it just back where they came from, but now it's on top of a mountain. We see this literally time and time again. The mountain always wins when you need to move against it. Every time. What's cool is Wildcard have this rift on the go. So they can they can leave whenever they want. But don't forget, the, the rift, when it opens, it takes more than the space for one by one. So someone's even close by, even a little bit. If the, if Wildcard Popsy moves one grid space closer and that rift goes off, he's going with them. There you go. Okay, so like just right. the two of them. Just Ooh, the two of them. That could have been dangerous. Now he's going to get high ground as well. That's huge from Alpha. Another, Another rift. Take can it. They take it. Why would you take they're it? They're going to do it. They're going to take it as well. So that's going to give them even more high ground here as they're just going to nice, nice and slow. Let everyone else eliminate each other as you're just sitting with your umbrella watching the action go down. Look at all this b building. What a brilliant view right now from Alpha. It's almost like 4th of July as he gets to see the fireworks go down below him. And now he wants some fireworks of his own. Going to push in, takes out one. His alpha with the double barrel, and that's one elimination for him. That is Pobsy going down. We're down to nine players. I mean, that was beautiful. We saw them utilize the rift to go. They, re they get high ground. They dive down on a player who then uses a rift, and they're like, cool, we'll just do this again. Thanks for giving us a little advantage here. And they make, they, they come out on top because of it. And I love it. Just like that, six players left in this game. Look how quick things devolved there as now. It is going to be the wild card alpha in a great position with big dominate up top to just stay alive, play for the lead here, fortify up as much as possible, which they're doing exactly that. And they're in a good spot here. Let's see what their heals are like, though. Because we might see ourselves another heal off. This would have been uh, Cowboy's favorite games to play in. Of course, Cowboy <laughs> on the North American side loves those heals, heal offs. Oh, Kaz on fire eliminated the storm. Again, we talked about it, man. If you try to face a mountain, mountain always wins. And a huge SSK drops him down. 
And if he can find more rockets, did this player have more rockets? They did not. Wait, I think there he was out on the out yeah. in the storm. He has a G. He has no a way. GL. And no way. way. The shockwave's gonna come in. It's not gonna break through. The no, 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 no. Enough. He's in a world of hurt now. 10 HP. Needs to be careful. So now we have a one versus one versus one. One person's low ground, one mid ground, and one high ground. And the grenade launchers are gonna be ripped here. Not gonna matter. Not gonna connect as those pyramids are gonna deflect. I mean, look. He also has five eliminations. Fallout. This is huge. He has 10 HP left. What do we? What do you he do loses, in this situation? He loses the heal off. He needs to fight. Needs to play for aggression here. You have no heals, oh. and that's it. It's gonna be Alpha that takes out the Olin from up top. Well played by Alpha, and look at him—a med kit and a campfire. Alpha has this all but yep. wrapped up here, unless this last member can pull off a miracle. Now, Lazium, if you don't know how heal off works, the only look way this. you can activate a med kit is if you have less than 100 HP. You saw him wait for the storm to tick once, and then he started the heal. And now it's just textbook. Wildcard Alpha just wait. Look, he even started the Evo. <laughs> He's That's like, hey, amazing. look, look, all right. I'm going to start the dance off because I already know. I'm confident in my decision. Uh, that's crazy. So we've seen <laughs> two heal offs back go. They dive on a player. And look at that. Wildcard Alpha, after everything is said and done, he starts the heal off. I love it. I want to see when he starts dancing here. That's when he starts dancing. Look right at that. There.